back to normal. Um, I drove past a restaurant that had outdoor seating yesterday and people were sitting outdoors with their mask on and I'm just like, okay, <laughs> it's weird, but if that's the new normal, I guess it is what it is. Who am I to judge? Although I know that sounds judgmental, but whatever. So anyway, uh, like I said, I hope all is well with everyone and everyone is trying their best to stay in good health because the coronavirus is still around and we do not have a vaccine for it. So you have to make good decisions for you and the people that's around you and be cautious. Um, I'm still really not going out, still not, I guess we're still not allowing people to come over to our home for the holiday and not, and it's a holiday. I, yeah, it's a holiday weekend. Barbecue season starts. Barbecue in Chicago, right? That's what we say. Grilling season starts for the politically correct people. With um, One Purpose Magazine update. The magazine is out. You can go to www.onepurposemagazine.com to sift through it, look through it, read a couple of articles. Um, you know, it's me. It's, it's what I do. Um, I was the, pretty much the only writer this time around. Wall? A lot got changed in the, in the, in the, at the last minute, but whatever. So it's out, it's available to read. I hope you all go to the website and check it out. I just want to incorporate in this talk show, which is really breaking the mold. Oh, I'll get into that. But one thing that I want to incorporate, I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, but one thing that I want to incorporate is a self-love message. And um, I, I guess I always, I say this a lot, but I really believe that self and I, that self love starts with really um, taking the time and figuring out what it is that long learn wrong so you can fix it, and being open to learning what you can do right so you can move in the direction of uh, fulfilling your purpose and reevaluating who you are as a person and visiting some of those areas that you know you kind of shut off and that you don't want to deal with and I think that in the time of quarantine we, we have some time that we can reflect and think and and visit some of those areas and I hope so many people took time to do that um, because it's so important that we we evaluate or evaluate ourselves so that we understand how we operate and how we function in the world, you know, how we impact other people. When we walk in the room, what we do, what do we do to the atmosphere? You know, what do we bring to the table? Um, I think we all have to take the time to get to know ourselves a little bit more, love on ourselves a little bit more, understand who we are a little bit more so that we can have impact, have influence, you know, have, um, relationships with people which is very important we need that you know <laughs> it was taken away from us for a period of time but it's very important now I think that most of us see that you know our relationships are important hot topic I'm coming with uh, this because I know it's important to stay in the mix of, of conversation we had Biden Joe Biden presidential candidate for the Democrats <laughs> on his show and um, Joe Biden closed out the, the, the interview. I mean, it was a good interview for, for who was interviewing him. No shade to Charlemagne, but I don't expect him to be like a political pundit that is grounded in politics and asking those deep questions that, you know, are on the black agenda for organizations that impact decisions and laws for um, people of color. But you know, he brought some questions that resonate or that is talking points for black people right now. Like, what's in it for us was really the conversation. And he kind of, um, excuse my, uh, my, my ambiance in the background as a train passing, but he kind of, um, kind of raised on the crime bill topic a little bit. And Joe Biden kind of dodged it. Um, but he's good at that. And if he's not being interviewed by somebody who is 
digested that bill well and can come back with follow-up questions and call him out for dodging the question, then, you know, he has every right to dodge it.